Yes, it's the annual first championship, an arena-based sports-like competition where students of all ages showcase their accomplishments in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. As the world's largest youth-serving STEM nonprofit, FIRST has introduced more than 3 million young people to these fields through a global robotics community. Joining us to continue the conversation this morning is Alan, a student whose team, High Definition, is participating in the competition, and Natalie Titano, the Senior Manager for the Corporate Responsibility and Government Affairs at Qualcomm. Alan, let's start with you. Uh, High Definition is a community-based team from several schools, including Newport High School, which is my alma mater, and Interlake High School in the Seattle area. What can you tell us about your experience in FIRST and what it's like preparing for such a fierce competition? Yeah, um, it's really just a really fun and exciting experience. Um, every single year I come back to it, I always love tackling the new challenges they give us. Um, with, as you said, it's a community-based team, um, so we're all really good friends. Um, so I love tackling those, comp those uh, challenges with my friends. Um, and yeah, it's just a uh, really engaging and eye-opening experience, and I really learn a lot from um, having to design a robot, to program the robot, and to iterate upon the robot every single competition to just make it a little bit better so it can perform a lot better during those matches. Well, Alan, I mean, congrats to you for just being a part of it. And switching gears over to Natalie, maybe you can tell us more about what FIRST is and how the program prepares young people for the world of tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. So FIRST stands for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. And it's really a global robotics community that is preparing young people for the future through mentor-based programs and hands-on experience. And so in addition to the technical skills that the students are getting through building the robots, uh, the students are also getting those soft skills like communication, teamwork, leadership, problem solving, and those skill sets are really needed in the workforce today. So we're really proud to be here and supporting the program. Alan, let's get to you. What has FIRST taught you about yourself and some of your aspirations? Yeah, so um, I've always wanted to pursue a type of career in STEM or engineering or in that direction. Um, and what FIRST has taught me is really how much we're able to achieve um, with the team, with those soft skills that we learn first, like the co collaboration with the team. Um, it's just a really eye-opening experience to how much we're able to accomplish as a group, um, especially when we plan out well and we carry out uh, the tasks in the way that we're supposed to. And it's just really um, a really good experience to have um, with a group of your friends or a group of your classmates. Super cool. Alan, I'm just curious, is there any notable projects that you've been able to make with your team or create that you're really proud of? Yeah, um, every year, actually, uh, we end up with actually multiple designs of robots as we move through the competition, um, because after every competition, we always group back together and talk about how we can make our robot even better. Um, so every year, we end up with multiple designs of robots, and I'm just really proud of how we're able to start out with maybe a less complicated robot, less sophisticated robot, but as we move on the competition, how much we're able to improve upon that with reflection. And um, yeah, I'm just really proud of how our robot's doing right now. Very cool. That's awesome. <laughs> Natalie, what kind of advice would you give students or parents who might be interested in the program and how can they get involved? Yeah, great question. So for students and parents who are interested in the program, I would encourage them to visit firstinspires.org. There's a ton of resources on the website that talk about everything from, you know, Re, uh, resources for mentors who want to get involved and help mentor students to students who want to check out local events in their region. So firstinspires.org is a great resource for both parents and students to visit it should they want to inquire about how to get involved with FIRST. Sweet. Firstinspires.org. Thank you so much, Alan and Natalie, for joining us today on Arc Seattle. Thank you. Very cool. Oh, my gosh. It's like... Battle bots. Yeah. yeah, it's all the beginnings of it. And it's just, it's so cool to see these kids dream up something. And as mm -hmm. Ellen was talking about how it has an evolution um, as the competition continues and they just continually make improvements, these are the minds of the future. They're no, going to come up with <laughs> something that we haven't even thought of yet. 
not just the minds of the future, the multimillionaires of the future who I design the, ne it. the next latest and greatest. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at some of those projects and look at the joy on their faces, how happy <laughs> they get when they see their robots. Like, yeah, like you said, battle in these yeah. competitions. But it's awesome that um, students all over the place can get involved in this. We mentioned some of those local high schools. Your alma mater, Newcastle, Newport.